Hi, Sherry. Um, How'd you find the Van Briggle piece? At an auction. Oh, good girl. How much did you pay at an auction? 400, 700, 900. 10 bucks, $400. Thank you. Very good. Van Briggle made, of course, in Colorado Springs. This is one of those nice pieces from the middle decades of the 20th century. You gotta like the brand names. You know, Tiffany, Cartier, Kleenex, the brand names. <laughs> this is your piece, honey. With a potter's mark, this is the marks that the potters would actually use. We can look it up and find out exactly which potter it is. This is a Nuka glaze. This is hand built. These sell at galleries for what's called, um, um, oh, what's the name of the pottery? The Japanese glaze pottery. These um, Shino, S-H-I-N-O, Shino pottery, like the work of the artist Ron Hand, very, very famous Shino potter. This particular piece is a piece that would sell in the market for about $500 to $600 for this Shino pottery with, of course, the maker's mark at the bottom. This is a beautiful hand-built piece, and this glaze is a Japanese glaze technique that's very hard to do. Mastered by American Shino artists. They sell in Boston galleries. There's a big Shino contingent of artists up there in Boston and Pennsylvania. Um, in fact, in the Shino tradition. This is a beautiful pick. Beautiful. This says, made in Italy, Venezia. What do we know about this? Not a whole lot. No. Not a whole lot. We know it says made in Italy because it says made in Italy. <laughs> How'd you acquire it, babe? That, uh was my mom's. Mom's, nice. And uh, don't know where she got it from. Don't know where she got it from. Was mom wasn't Italian? No. She wasn't from, you know, Abruzzi or Naples no. or, right? Sardinia or such. No, okay. So, in, in, she's uh, been deceased for about 27 years, but. She's not in here, right? No, no, she's not. She's not. I'm in Fort Myers, Florida, okay? Woman brings a piece like this turns it over, all the ashes come out. I'm looking at the mark and Uncle Louie's on the table. People go, Lori, what? I couldn't even believe it. Couldn't even believe it. Anyway, so mom is, is resting peacefully somewhere. Yes. Okay. And she's been gone a while and you don't know where she got it. It's not her style? Yeah, I don't really What's know. What's mom's I'm... style? I don't know. It's... She just had got that. I don't know where she got it from, from who. But she always told me, she said, you know, hang on to this and it may be worth some money. Hang on to this and maybe worth some money. How old do you think it is? Um, what do you think I'm looking at? I'm looking at this form. Do you see this nice form here? This animal form kind of looks like a deer. I'm looking at that. I'm also looking at the black on top of the green, right? I'm also looking at this yellow at the base, which is not original to it. That was a later addition. Okay. I'm looking inside at the glazed area and I'm looking at the way in which this particular piece is hand built of all small little coils. I'm looking that there's glaze inside of it which indicates that whatever goes inside of it is going to be actually have to be protected in some way. So you don't want it right up against the raw clay. Instead you want a glaze on top of that. So that's more workmanship, because you gotta get the glaze in there. You're utilizing material on the inside as well as the outside. I'm looking at the way, this can't be made with the machine because this, these particular little um, strokes are actually done by hand. They're not perfect like a machine would make them perfect. These are imperfect, so they're made by the human hand. And then I'm looking at the mark. But I look at the object first. The object will reveal more than the mark will ever hope to reveal. So you're worried about marks, and I'm worried about the actual object and the integrity of the object. Then it says, Dolce, D-O-L-C-E, and it says Venezia, or basically Venice, right? Made in Italy. So you know it's made in Venice. It's made in a pottery area of Venice. Venice is known for glass. It's not known for ceramics. Okay. This is majolica. This glaze that we've been talking about is lead-based glaze, which dates back to the 1450s. The woman in front of you puts her hand on her cheek like, how does she know this? I told you, I don't have to pick up Joey at soccer. I know this. I have to remember about Joey. There's no little kid waiting for me at soccer. I do antiques. This particular piece dates to about 1920. Made in, the terms made in, is introduced on objects that will be intended for export, which this was. It was not staying in Italy. It's intended for export. And this particular object 
Um, made in starts, is established about 1875. So now you get a date for it if you understand how the marks work. Value on your piece, about $400. Okay? Now, what are you going to do with it? No idea what you've been doing with it the whole rest of the time. It gets wrapped, not in bubble wrap, because no, bubble wrap it's retains it's heat. It's in a, a shelf. In a, in a shelf. shelf. So, have you even seen it, or did your wife say you're coming with me because it's a free appraisal? It's in our study. <laughs> it's in your study. Okay, yeah. you know where the study is? It's yes. where your cigars are, darling. <laughs> All right, I got it.